In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a stencil cutout effect using a little known professional technique that will allow you to edit the text and change the font at any time. Stick to the end of the tutorial so that you can see how else you can use this must know technique. In this document, we have a background layer, a gradient map applying a color effect, a white rectangle, and a text layer. I've seen many tutorials where they use layer masks for this effect, and even though visually you get the results that you are looking for, this is not an efficient way of working because you cannot make changes unless you redo the mask. A more professional and efficient way of doing it is to use this little known command that you might have not even heard of before. Double click to the side of the layer to bring up the layer style dialog. In the center of this window, you will see a drop down that you probably have never noticed before. The knockout. Let me know in the comments if this was the first time that you noticed it or if you knew about it. If you change the knockout to shallow and bring the fill opacity to zero, you will notice that you can now see the background image. The problem is that we cannot see the color effect from the gradient map. This is because the shallow knockout creates sort of a hole that punches through all the layers below. But if we put the text and rectangle into a group, by selecting both and pressing Ctrl G, the shallow knockout will only punch a hole through the layers in the group, revealing a gradient map color effect because that layer is outside of the group. This allows you to work non-destructively, so this means that this is an editable type layer, so you can change the text and you can change the font. Here's another way in which I use this effect. This actually comes from a more in-depth tutorial where I explain further how Knockout works. There's a link to it down below. Let me know in the comments if you plan to use this technique for text effects or photo effects or what you're already using it for. Don't forget to subscribe and to click on the bell to join the notification squad so that you don't ever miss any new tutorials. Thank you so much and I'll talk to you again soon.